Hey everybody, so I have picked up this PS4 off the local marketplace for a whopping $25. It did not come with any controllers or anything, but they were kind enough to throw in a free game and they showed me a game of Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, or Last of Us. Good choice. Anyway, um... They said that they needed some sort of update, and that was it. I'm just selling a Wii U for 25 bucks, picking up PS4 for 25 bucks. I'll take my chances. So let's see what happens. I've got it plugged in. When we turn it on, blue light. Maybe that's good. Maybe. Nope. Oh. Signal out of range. Cool. Power saving. That was a fun nothing to begin with. Okay. Uh, I'll have to find another TV to try this on. All right. Same thing. Turn turn it on. We've got white light. I'm skipping my little USB monitor. And now we have on my 4K monitor that's checking storage status. We're going to let this chill for a bit and see what it comes up with in the end. Uh-huh. Okay. I need to find me a dual shock for. I don't have one. So I will have to look. Alright. I got me a controller from Mr. Brother of mine. And I figured out my screen issues. It turns out this uh little portable screen does not like to scale down to the low resolution. But my little cheap one over here does. So we'll turn it on. We've got the controller connected. We shall see what we get. So checking the storage again. Like I said, I do have a controller hooked up this time, so we'll see what it actually does. I couldn't get another controller to work. Apparently, this is the only one that works. So I tried things like that. <clears throat> the little 8-bit do's and other third-party controllers. I even tried a PS... PS3 controller. Can't start PS4. Okay. Uh, connect, press PS button. I see blinking. Blink. You can do it. Come on. Today? Press and hold. Press. Press. <laughs> Try a different USB port. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Alright, so, um, tried a different USB cable. Apparently that white one was terrible. Um, and we get that it wants an update for reinstallation. So I'm gonna go grab that uh, update and we'll stick it in and see what happens. Kidoki. USB drive, I went and found the 8.0 update. Let's see if this even fits in that little... We'll shove it in there. <laughs> Hopefully it fits. And... Waiting, waiting. Watch babies. Focus, there we go, focus. Well... This is exciting, isn't it? Drive. Waiting. Cool. We'll be initialized. Well, some guy playing a ton and ton of Call of Duty. Farewell. Off we go. Well, that's fairly quick. Wait till this is done and maybe I'll pause it again and see what's going on. But preparing system. Might be a while just doing a lot of this stuff. Maybe not. Let's find out. I know, super exciting and everything. So I got this PlayStation for $25. Not too bad, especially if it just needed an update. It took me a good five minutes to find an update and put on a USB drive. No controllers or anything, but it's okay. I can find those. If I get it working, 
I don't have one of these to begin with, so to add to my collection. Preparing, preparing, focus phone, come on, there you go. As luck would have it, it um, went out of range of my little monitor here that's not even 1080p, so I had to plug my little portable one back in, and it is doing something. Um, I can hear the little hard drive, you know, the old mechanical spinny drive in there doing something, so off we go, and I'll update when we get to the end. All right, well, it booted up to a nice nothingness um, black screen, so I have yoinked this drive out. Um, it's some um, one terabyte Toshiba drive. It's toasty, toasty, nice and warm. But we're gonna give it a shot and install this one point nine two terabyte SSD and see if we can get this reinstalled and using this because I think this is what's dying and causing this to not boot up. So we'll give this a go and see what happens. All right, drive installed. Let's. Or this on. I have to use the crappy monitor again because safe mode works on this screen, but not this screen. Okay. Well, it went out of range and then it went back in range, so I had to rearrange cables. So I've got my dual shock plugged in again. Uh, we're going to do this whole USB storage thing. Um, maybe it will reinstall into the new drive and be a little happier. But we're going to give it a go. It's going to go through the same process. Obviously, we're not going to watch it again, but I'll update when we get done. Oh my gosh, look, progress. So, new drive, screen. Let's go. Oh, oh there we go. English, English. Yep, checking internet or network. I don't have it plugged in. Nope. Um, camera now, we don't have a camera. Skip. We are not east. We are not central. We are mountain. Lovely mountains. Let's see, is that correct? 12, 4, 2, 30? No. Two thirty PM on the fourth. Uh, yeah, good enough. Okay, good enough. Of course, we accept. They would not accept this. Start now. Ooh, I shall see the important things. Hello, user one. Wow, and huzzah. Tis functional. All right, let's mute my computer. One, so we don't hear the obnoxious beeping. And two, let's see if the drive works. And she goes. Rrr, whir, me, whir, whir, whir. Okay. I'm assuming something will pop up. I've never actually played a PS4. This is new to me. Oh, snap. Preparing. Uh, yeah, good enough. I'll fix it later. Wow. I have played this game, though, just on my Steam Deck instead of PS4. Uh, it appears to be working. I hear lots of... I can listen. Honk, honk, honks. Oh. Cool. Uh, I call this a success. Uh, the SSD I got for free from someone else. Uh, so at this point, for a total of $25 and a few minutes of my time, I now have a fully functional PS4. Awesome. We'll give it just one second. Start, go. No, that's not what I wanted. Lots of loading. Okay, well, I won't make you guys suffer. Anyway, thanks for watching.